So I think when I reveal the 400 or the 600, I can't remember now, I have mentioned that maybe Sony have all the lens range uh, completed. It's finally completed from the widest to the tailiest. Uh, maybe they just missing a tilt shift, that kind of thing. But actually, there's still something missing, at least for G Master lens. Just like this, Sony 35mm f1.4 G Master. But first, thank you Storybox for sponsoring this channel. So at the very first beginning, when Sony released the A7, of course they have this. If you still remember, this is really cute. 35, 2.8, Sony size, Sony size lens. This is really cute, really small. And also, oops, <laughs> there's a 55, 1.8. Because at the beginning, all the high-end uh, A7 lenses, the full-frame E-mount lenses, are all from Sony size. And later, there's two more Sony size prime lens. I'm talking about Sony size prime lens. There's uh, this 45, 1.4. This is, this is huge, look at that. And then there is the latest Sony size prime lens, which is this 51.4. And later, Sony start to make their own high-end lenses, which is the G Master lens. 24 1.4, 85 1.4, big light and orange. 100 millimeters f 2.8, 145 1.8, and of course there's 400 and 600 millimeters. So you can see Sony G Master, there's a gap between 24 to 85 millimeters for prime lenses because previously it was filled by Sony size. But now, finally, Sony released their own G Master 35 millimeters. Well, as a G Master, of course it's sharp in the center, but also at the corner as well. And I don't see much, actually, I don't see color fringing. And f1.4, you can get background separation at this distance as well. So 35mm, I always like 35mm lenses. It's just the style, it's just that kind of street photography style that I do. I usually do include a lot of the, not a lot, a little bit of the environment into the photo rather than uh, the really popular 50 millimeters for street photography some people like that uh, they usually take the subject a lot a lot tighter but that's not i usually do with a 30, with a 50 millimeters i always feel it's a little bit too tight and 20 24 28 i think it's a bit too wide it's just i can't explain it i just like 35 millimeters. To be honest, I always want that Sony size 35 millimeters f 2.8. It is so small and so handsome. This is a lot bigger, but for a 35 1.8, this is actually uh, compared to, for example, compared to Canon, Nikon, Sigma. This is the smallest and lightest 35 millimeters f 1.4. Man, these days, autofocusing is so great. Maybe not the Panasonic I'm using right now. Come on, please focus on my face, yes. And um, yeah, autofocus AFC, not just on the Sony, on uh, across uh, different brands. These days, AFC is so good. I can just like, just like, just yet, yeah, I can just hold it on something and then slowly approach my subject. I do like the bokeh very much. This is so textbook bokeh, you can upload it to Wikipedia and just title bokeh. But since bokeh is really subjective, so what do you think? Now only this one you can see some color fringing. Because this is from an A7R Mark IV 60 megapixel zoom right in, then you can see some color fringing. At last, let's check out distortion and vignetting. This is with the in-body compensation turns on. When I turn them off, I think vignetting is expected as an f1.4 lens. It has a slight distortion, but they all go away after f2.8. But anyway, I don't think anyone would turn off their lens compensation. 
So this is the quick test of the Sony brand new 35mm f1.4 G Master lens. Sony have built up a really good reputation for their G Master lenses and this is no exception. It's almost difficult to reveal this lens because there's not much I can talk about. It's sharp, it's free of color fringing, like what can I say about this? Well, it do have one thing unique, which is it is smaller and lighter than other 35 1.4. So at the end, as I mentioned, G Master Prime lens has 24 and 85 millimeters, and now we have 35. Now it's only logical to expect the next one will be 50 millimeters G Master. At last, I'm happy to introduce to you Storyblocks. Storyblocks has video, has music, and images all in one site. Of course, it has stock video. Wow, that's that is a really good time lapse. Even motion graphic backgrounds, stock music and sound effects, also stock photos and illustration vectors, graphic all in one site. It is still flexible. You can just subscribe to video or just audio, or you can subscribe to all of them just one single subscription, or you can eat. So check out Soyblocks with the link in the description down below.